Welcome to the first episode of Ask an Expert. Today's guests are Dr. Muhammad al and Dr. Muhammad Anat al regarding bariatric surgery. We are pleased to welcome Dr. Muhammad al imadi General Surgery and Senior Consultant of Bariatric Surgery, and Dr. Muhammad Anas al azma Senior Consultant of Laparoscopic Bariatric Surgery and General Surgery. Dr. al imadi I will start with you. You are the number one surgeon in general and laparoscopic bariatric surgeries in Qatar, uh, and having performed nearly 14,000 successful operations, could you tell us more about the reasons of the huge success of al imadi Hospital? Yes, in fact, I have started since 1995. That means I have over 25 years of experience in bariatric surgery in the state of Qatar. Initially, my journey started with adjustable gastric band surgeries for a long time. After that, in a later stage, we have been transferred to full gastric bypass surgery. I also have a good experience in laparoscopic surgery within Hamad Medical Corporation. Thankfully, uh, the experience I have gained during my career has helped me tremendously in the success of Al Imadi Hospital and in the success of the surgeries we perform here at the hospital. Dr. Al Azma. How did Al Imadi Hospital succeed in keeping pace with the development and continuous updating of techniques in regards to surgery? Well, science is developing in a very rapid pace, especially in the laparoscopic surgery field. There are techniques that revolutionized laparoscopic surgery in the early 1980s and rapidly after the year 2000. For example, the surgical staplers devices have made exceptional advancement in the laparoscopic and bariatric surgery. The significant and safe results of these surgeries are arising from using advanced devices and technology. Plus, in this regard, al Imadi Hospital uses the latest medical devices and technology. This technology is one of the most important factors for the success of surgery. In addition to modern laparoscopic devices that are equipped with very high resolution cameras, 4K, electrical anesthesia devices, the hospital has a wide range of technology to provide the patient with high-quality services, creating safe and successful environment for all patients. Dr. al is laparoscopic surgery suitable for all patients? Well, most patients can have laparoscopic surgery. In the past, at the beginning of laparoscopic surgery, there was not enough experience in the field globally, so the cases that had previously been undergoing surgery caused adhesions. So doctors were avoiding to perform these kinds of surgery as they had little experience in performing operations for patients with adhesions. Uh, but recently, adhesion surgery themselves are being performed with laroscopes. Uh, this means that there is a tremendous development in, in the experience and in the field. Uh, this has provided more services to the patient, short stay in hospital, little pain, few problems, and few complications. So it's safe to say that it's much better than the conventional surgery, of course. Dr. al we know that obesity has three stages. And my question is, how do we know that we have morbid obesity? 
there is of course a calculation of body mass index. Mass is an indicator of obesity as follows. From 30 to 35 percent, it's obesity. From 35 to 40 percent, it's called excessive obesity. And over 40 percent is what we call morbid obesity. Dr. Alaimadi, Regarding obesity in the Qatari community, statistics show that the obesity has reached about 80% of the Qatari population. I think this number is correct, and one of the most important reasons that caused obesity in our community is luxury. There is also the lack of movement and the use of cars the excessive use of cars, uh, lack of daily exercises, the excessive use of social media, people use social media and they don't have to visit their relatives or their friends, they just communicate with them through social media. Uh, in addition to the availability of different foods, and the increasing number of restaurants, especially fast foods, that contain a very high number of calories. What are the most affected categories by obesity? Is there a percentage? I would say that the most common category affected by obesity is between the ages of 18 to 40 years. Dr. al -Azma, based on your work experience in some Arab countries, does the rate of obesity differ in other Arab countries compared to Qatar or is it the same? In fact, obesity has witnessed increase in the whole world as a pandemic. This means that obesity is spreading rapidly all over the world. It is slightly higher in Gulf countries due to the reasons mentioned by Dr. Alaimaji. Um, but it has been noticed that there is an increase in the obesity rate among children in the last years. We have seen excessive obesity at younger ages for the same reasons. The child now uses the mobile phone and computers excessively, in addition to spending a very long time without moving, as well as eating fast food and soft drinks. Dr. Alaimadi, Bariatric surgery is no longer limited to its benefits only in terms of cosmetic or improving the physical appearance. Rather, it has now benefits on the health aspects. What are these aspects? Well, of course, we should know that obesity is a chronic disease. It causes many diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, infertility, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and even bowel cancer. So if we treat obesity, we will treat all of the diseases resulting from it, especially diabetes and hypertension. Dr. Ali Madi, you have mentioned in a previous interview that there are many studies stating the necessity to perform bariatric surgeries at the beginning before they get worse. And my question is, isn't it better to start a diet or to do sports before performing the surgery? I think that it is better to perform the surgery when the body mass is around 35%, especially in young ages, because the results will be much better. The cosmetic results will also be better because if the mass exceeds 40%, then the patient will be suffering from a sagging problem. The sagging is treated with plastic surgery, but it has big wounds and big problems, and the patient should not reach this point, especially since the risk of bariatric surgery is very low. As we say, prevention is better than cure. Uh, it is better for young men whose body mass ranges between 30 and 35 percent to do surgeries before their obesity becomes a problem and gets worse. I completely agree with Dr. Alaimadi. The person 
who is not able to lose weight through diet and sports should perform the operation. If someone, for example, weighs 120 kilos, it is preferable for him to perform the operation before he reaches the weight of 150, for, for example. There are some people who could reach up to 200 kilos, and they were before 150 and 120. So, in that case, we advise that the early treatment can protect them from the risks that uh, can affect their lives. For some overweight patients, there is a high risk of surgical procedure as their anesthesia is difficult as well as heart problems they could suffer from. So it's better to perform the procedure before their case could get worse. Doctor, can you tell us a bit about gastric band? It's a surgery that was being done in the past, but now it became easy. With the development of the devices, the gastric band surgery became simple and does not have big risks. But most people are against this surgery. Doctors can choose some patients to do these kinds of surgery for, as they are better than the gastric balloon and they have less problems and less risks. The gastric band is an easy surgery. It takes around 15 minutes. And one of the most important advantages in this surgery is that the patient can control the amount of food that they eat, but also the patient must be conscious and he needs to drink more water and juices and fluids and not to eat other things to avoid enlarged esophagus. The surgery is still being um, performed to this date in even European countries. Any final words to conclude, doctor? People need to pay attention to their children, as they are under the responsibility of their parents. If they gain more weight, we should be aware of that. We should monitor their eating regularly and encourage them to exercise and do sports, because obesity has increased tremendously among younger ages recently. Thank you so much, doctors, for these valuable information.